Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. And, yeah, things are just getting better and better, apparently. Right now, I am not even too sure whether or not if this clip's gonna have any corrupted frames or seconds. I'm just. whatever at this point. More or less is that I'm not giving up, it's just. I've, I'm accepting that it's not going to be the best first time Let's Play ever. I'm pretty sure that everybody else doesn't have, probably never ever had a f the best ever first play first ever, if that makes sense. So we're just, we're already done with spring. I don't need to be in spring at this point. And we're going to summer, since I already opened the switch for summer, and I realized that in the last episode, I got cut off because I completely forgot when the the whole clip ended. So that was a my bad moment. And look, there's a yellow Jinjo right in the corner. Very easy to find. So right now, I'm having to collect worms. Eek! Hungry animals like caterpillars. No dir. But we gotta collect, I think it was five worms. So we could feed our little baby eagle because apparently the mother abandoned the eagle. What is wrong with this game? Parents are abandoning their children in this game. It's sad. You look pretty strong. Can you move this? I didn't even want to let you finish your sentence. So, apparently, what is wrong? honestly, what is wrong with this game? Bogey abandons his children for a sled race and doesn't even find the presence because I had to do the job for him and now the mother eagle is gone my god that is a giant eagle if you actually think about it because look at the size of the egg and look at the size of the baby the baby is big the baby is large it's but still you have to do the mother's job now so you're mama banjo and mama kazooie no father kazooie that makes sense mama banjo and father kazooie haha -ha. see what I did there but the switch right there is easy to find for Autumn. Apparently, every cutscene you get back to where you're supposed to be, so I don't know why it just does that. It's kind of funny, that's like the third or fourth time I've actually done that. So, how's the weather out there? Right now, it's hot in summer. Kind of ironic that we're in summer and it's already hot. But apparently, the weather's been really crazy at this moment because one day is hot, the other day is cold, the next day is hot. Another three days is cold. It was supposed to rain, but it never did. Apparently, we had a we had a storm going. So it's weird weather. And what else is there? Oh my gosh, it's a camel! Oh no, it's you two again. Gobby thought he was safe here. Are you? Are you ever safe? Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water. Well, if you would have gone. Oh wait, no, sandy water. Where, where could he have gotten water? Honestly, I honestly don't know. Other than Gobby's desert, because he was... Trunk, Trunker was surrounded by water, but he couldn't get any water in his roots, because apparently he doesn't drink water from the roots, he drinks water from the mouth. Well, the video came logic, oh my gosh, it haunts me still. Did you guys understand what I just said there? Trunker drinks from the mouth, but not from the roots, but he's a tree. It doesn't make sense. And he was surrounded by water, but he was still thirsty for water. That is, that is, that is ultimately cold right there. <laughs> wow, the things I find out, the things I think about just right there and then. So, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know. Apparently it's too hot for Mumbo to actually do some magic. What a lazy bum. And, oh look, a Mumbo token. I knew there was something in here. So we got 25 Mumbo tokens, and we already spent a lot of them. We already spent. We basically got the last transformation thing. So right now, all we need is 14 more Mumbo tokens, and then I have all the extra Mumbo tokens. You don't get anything for the Mumbo tokens, which is sad. You should be able to get something special for finding all the Mumbo tokens. I don't know. That that should be something for the leaderboards too. Oh look, another Mumbo token. Must get there. If I could see, dang you camera angles, at least it's not as bad as Resident Evil. Ha, <laughs> you guys would know. Oh my gosh, these giant plants are giant now. The little giant fly traps. They're called bear traps, apparently. Because they are meant for banjo. And a little bird again. I hate those things so much. I swear they get bigger and... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. 
Oh, no, but in that. So apparently they get bigger and bigger every season. Why? I, everything gets bigger by the season. Did you guys notice that too? Look at the flat. Oh, 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 no, those are leaves. That was a calm flower. How embarrassing. Look at all those leaves. Those leaves are big now. Oh, look, Jiggy. Come on. Oh, do, do, do. oh okay. I didn't get hit. If I was get hit, I would have fallen down and got hurt and probably die. So, what number Jiggy is this? Oh, number three. Barely number three? Okay, then. Oh, look, Mama Token. They're everywhere. This is why I like Click Clock Wood. I like the seasonal changes and everything. Everything progresses as you go through the seasons, like how it should be. It's starting with spring, it goes to summer, then fall, and then winter. I like the life cycle at that point. And autumn, autumn's my favorite season in this game. Just to be honest, because there's a lot of notes everywhere. You guys will see. It. I, I think you'll see it in this clip because this was pretty. This is pretty much a short run round. And apparently I've beaten this level in under an hour, which is good, because the first time I played it, I only beat it in around an hour and 30 minutes, because I couldn't find the last Jiggy, and I couldn't remember what was going on. I don't know, it just it just works like that. This is why I don't, I'm not sure if I should do a blind Let's Play, because it seems like it's going to be harder if I don't know what to anticipate, because... Again, with the Let's Play, seeing how I'm getting problems and complications with the audio lag, if you guys haven't noticed in this episode, but I already explained it, I don't know what happened, I don't know what caused the audio, audio lag, I would only assume is that I've been recording for pretty much six hours continuously, that's probably what messed it up in the end. Hopefully the next hour long clip will not be ruined or not have any complications, but I can't give you any promises, and if there is, I'm truly sorry for that, I just can't really do anything about it. Because apparently Oxoft Showbiz does not allow me to separate the audio from the actual clip or the visuals. If I were to be able to do that, then I probably will try to sync it up as best as I can. So, the Zubas, the giant bees. Oh my gosh. Come on, activate the shield. Activate. Oh, come on, activate the shield. Dang you, Xbox controller. Okay, there we go. Alright. That's how you kill them. You don't actually have to do the rat tat tat on all of them. It's, you could, but. Yeah, you just don't really need to. He's beating us. Oh well, we were getting bored of guarding that thing. Or guarding it anyways. So, there's the entrance to the beehive, and Zubas are dead. When I saw Zubas, I on I automatically thought of Zumba, the little exercise dance program for exercise and weight loss. And that was kind of funny how Zuba was before Zumba. Or I don't know how, I don't know the history behind Zumba. I should really not say things that I don't know about before I even say it. Because otherwise that just leaves up for embarrassment. But at the same time, it does lead up to a good conversational thing to start and talk about. I, I don't know, it just gives me something to continue on talking about. Because it is, it is, does get quite tedious to actually try to commentate around 15 minutes at a time, non-stop, you just, it just, it just works like that. And look, a trophy. I must get it. I must get that trophy. My trophy. Oh, look, another Jiggy. So that's what's there. Ha! <laughs> they make it harder and, or easier for us to find these Jiggies. You just have to explore a lot. And if I were to do a lot blind let's play I may have already may have already looked there just to see if there's anything in there so what is your thought about blind let's plays it, d d or have you ever seen a blind let's play I have not seen any of them yet because I haven't really got time to actually look at videos but I understand on a blind let's play it would take longer for a level to finish because you have no idea what you're doing or no idea how it goes and you probably may miss a lot of things that you should have been doing or you should have to get for the next thing I just don't know if I could ever do a blind let's play. I know one blind let's play I could do one of my friends or yeah Omega Omega Filming said that if I could do a bl blind let's play of Conquer's Bad Fur Day or wherever Conquer's Live and Reloaded. I think that's the Microsoft remake that you told me about. I wonder if it's any, I wonder if it's the exact same thing as Conquer's Bad Fur Day. If not then I'm gonna have to either I doubt that I'll find it on the Wii. Wii is not... Wii and Nintendo Wiis are not known for mature content other, other than a few games. Dead Space was one of the few mature games I actually released on the Nintendo Wii, but it, they're not really known for ready to damn games like Xbox and PlayStation. It's just... I don't know. It's, it's probably not their market. Unless they, they get paid for the uh, platform base 
I don't know. I don't know how it works. And apparently that squirrel is fat. I just stayed there just for the hilarity. I remember when I was young, I would stay there for like 10 minutes and hear him burp and fart because I thought it was hilarious. Uh, even though I did feel sorry for him, but it's his fault for eating so much. That's why he's fat. You need some exercise. Because he always has one more acorn, but that one more turns to 10 more, and that 10 more turns into 100 more. You guys know what I'm talking about whenever you say one more, but you just don't follow it. So, oh look, my the baby eagle. Yum. Yummy, juicy caterpillar, nice! Well, he had... Oh, he's still a baby. But, yeah. At least he knows how to say nice correctly. And then he grows and grows and grows. Burp. Eerie fool now, needs more sleep. If only real life worked like that. If you were to get a full meal, you grow. But... How big would we be if we, every time we ate, we would grow? I bet you anything that the fat people would be very, very happy because they'll be very, very big and very, very tall. No offense, no offense to any fat people out there. But you got, you, it's just something to think about. I think about random topics all the time, and sometimes when I actually talk about random topics, no one else gets me. No one else actually gets what I'm thinking, and they question me, and then. They think I'm just weird, but I just I'm just a person who likes to think so much that it brings imagination and it also brings more fun in my opinion. And yes, there it is. I tested out the gold feather drop and it works. It works great. If you guys were to do that more often you will not get hurt and it gets makes traveling a lot easier. That'd be awesome. Do a gold feather drop from a thousand feet high and not get hurt. Especially with no broken legs. Oof, I cannot imagine I'll be able to walk. So, what else is to talk about? We're going to autumn now. Look how quick we actually progressed. This this level is basically the most frustrating level. Oh, better get you're, you're more caterpillars. Well, this is one of the most more frustrating levels, but at the same time, one of the more, more fun levels to do. But look at that giant bear trap. It got big. And there's the caterpillar, number four. You, didn't, you only needed five for the first round or for summer. But if you were to collect more of them, it would, been, it would make it a lot easier for you. But for me, I'm a moral completionist. I still get every worm that I can find. I'm not too sure how many worms there are in total. But yeah, this is the level where you really need the gold feathers. That it would have helped you greatly if you had them. If you didn't, then you would have to look for gold feathers and or risk getting killed trying to get those notes in the bear traps. Ugh. Stupid bird. I hate those birds. And now we're gonna go visit Mumble again. I think I'm gonna visit. Yep, I'm gonna visit Mumble again. Because there's always something there in every, every season. Right now there's a caterpillar. What is he doing? Mumble busy, sweet mini leaves. No magic today. You're so lazy. Well, right here now there's notes. What was the first season? First season of spring was the bee. Summer was a mumble token. Autumn is the worm and the notes. Oh yeah, autumn's my favorite because of all the notes. You just you guys already saw all the notes lying around. That's why autumn's my favorite. But it sucks that if you were to forget something in one level and you have to look through all the three levels but go back to that other level that you forgot about that that, that just makes it frustrating right then and there that's why I don't like click clock wood as much because if I were to forget something my little OCD and my perfectionist side will get to me that's how it is and we get worm number seven I kill that thing so I can get the gold feather because I'm gonna be using gold feather more and I'm gonna be collecting a little bit of more notes let's continue on because I'm almost done with this episode hooray I was able to continue on with the conversation or topic or whatever you want to call it and oh my gosh I don't want to hurt get hurt I don't want to fall no god ah oh, I fell all right okay uh, hurry up hurry up hurry up I'm almost out of time get that no oh what the heck I'm I'm no that's embarrassing all right get that note kill that oh nope nope no. kill that thing all right where am I going where am I going? Well, anyways, I'll see you guys in episode 21.